Hello everyone, my name is Rafal and I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I would like to talk a little bit about constant lighting. And before I jump into the topic, I just want to say that recently I was approached by a company called Nanlite and they were generous enough to send me one of their finest equipment and they asked me if I would be interested to test their lighting for my headshot photography and give them some feedback about how I feel working with this type of lighting. And I just want to say thank you to them because I had no idea that was even reality. They were, as I said, really kind to me and they sent me everything so I could just put them to work and see how this whole thing is going to affect my headshot photography. And I've learned a lot of things. Um, I was kind of postponing this video because every photo shoot I've been learning something new. But today I just want to share that with you because I've learned so much about not only the type of lighting, but also how this whole thing is going to affect my headshot photography, my sessions, my clients, the way I work. This is something extremely um, amazing. And that's why I just want to share all those um, informations with you. I'm not going to dive in into any technical part of this type of lighting. If you're interested to learn about their lights, their setups, um, everything what they produce, uh, you can just go to their website. I will link that into the description so you can just check all this stuff. As you probably know, I'm not big person when it comes to the technical part. I don't really care about it stuff. I just want to set this up and get to work and start shooting. Um, I'm not really interested into some numbers and technical aspects. So I'm sorry, but this video is not going to cover that at all. But all those informations are available. And if you're interested, you can just directly go to them. And there is everything to the last bit about those lighting and you're going to know exact the powers and then all this crazy uh, stuff which a lot of people are very interested in. I'm going to talk about from a little bit of different perspective. I'm going to talk a little bit about the practical side of using constant lighting and I've been shooting uh, this setup for the last month. I've done I think about 10 different headshot sessions and I just want to share some of those experiences and I've learned so much and a lot of those things were kind of something that I didn't expect to learn. Um, I just, you know, I was just shooting and I was just like discovering new things, which I never expected it's gonna happen to me. And this is something with, in my opinion, is extremely fascinating. Okay, so let's jump into this topic and let's discuss this step by step. But before we do that, I just wanna point it out one thing. I'm gonna compare this type of lighting setup to my previous lighting setup which i was using speed lights and i just want to kind of take some reference to what i was using before so just kind of i want to be clear on that and i want to make sure that people understand where i'm coming from because that's another extremely important element which can affect this entire video and my conclusions about this lighting setup on the top of that i just want to also say that I know a lot of people got extremely upset with me that as soon as I start posting that I'm using constant lighting, um, they were just angry with me for whatever reason that uh, I abandoned speed lights and I'm just bought this expensive lighting setup. This is not true. I'm still going to use speed lights, believe it or not. But I just want to make sure that uh, people kind of understand that I was given this equipment for testing. And as I mentioned before, I didn't expect that I'm going to discover so many new things that it's going to kind of shock you probably as well. So let's jump into this. Okay, so the first thing what I want to talk about it is the client experience when it comes to this type of lighting setup. And I never pay attention to this stuff. I never thought about it much. I was just using my speed lights. I was just keep shooting. There's a lot of things which sometimes bugs me. And I've noticed that, for example, they were getting tired very quickly. Um, the flash was affecting their mood. Some of people were not really um, have a good experience uh, working with flash. And when it comes to the constant lighting, this whole thing just went away, which is kind of crazy. And I didn't expect that the constant lighting uh, provides you this completely different environment when it comes to shooting headshots because the flash is not going off every few seconds so the clients are feel more comfortable with that of course whenever you're using constant light basically the clients become more 
they don't have to kind of like be scared that the flash is going off. I know a lot of, of my clients, they were affected by that. And I've noticed that they were not only getting tired, but they couldn't give me the face expressions, which I wanted because they were just like, keep waiting when the flash is going to go off. And I never thought about it that this affecting them. Like I, I know it's hard sometimes, and I, especially when you're shooting fairly quickly or you want to get the shoot done fairly you know, fast, that is going to affect the client. With the constant lighting, completely different story. The client feels a little bit more relaxed. Um, their eyes getting used to the light. So it's not like, you know, they're in the dark spot and you get just kind of hit with the flash and they just automatic getting kind of alert mode. So this whole thing completely changes. And I want to point this out because I never, as I said, thought about using specific lighting setup from my client and my subject perspective. And this lighting makes me realize that it's completely different experience, not only for me, but also for the client. So if you're looking for something that's gonna gives you that environment, which your client's gonna feels a little bit better about kind of shooting and it's not gonna, the, the flash is not gonna bug them and it's not gonna affect their eyes. This is something which is worth it to consider it because that's the content lighting will provide you. On the top of that, if you're working in the environment when the client feels way better, that means that you're going to get better face expressions, you can communicate better with your subject, and at the end of the day, you're going to get way better images, you're going to get way better results, and um, you, can, you can definitely take your hatchet photography to a completely different level. On the top of that, we're going to go into some technical stuff. Um, of course, when you have constant lighting, the retinas of their eyes, they're, they're very closed. So the eyes, they're getting this really amazing look, which again, I could do that in post-production whenever I was working in some darker place, then I have to just adjust it in Photoshop. In this case, I don't have to do that. I get natural, beautiful um, eyes from all my subjects. And this is something, again, something to consider because this type of lighting setup provides you this right on the spot. You don't have to do any additional retouching, editing, and just making those eyes look better. The constant light will provide you this right on the spot. So this is something which I have to point it out because I never thought about it. I think this is extremely important. And that's was the one of the things which kind of hit me like a tons of brick that this type of lighting provides your clients way better experience to shooting headshots. So that's something to look into this, think about it and just kind of compare what you have right now and see how you can kind of change that. And as I said, the constant lighting will definitely help you to create that this amazing environment for your client. So let's talk about some technical stuff. So the constant lighting, of course, automatically and the lighting what I'm using, they you don't have to recharge the batteries, right? So this is another little thing which I always had to do with my speed lights after every session, I had to recharge them. And I'm not saying that was a big of a deal, but that was additional time I have to add it to my work that I have to make sure that every photo shoot, those batteries are put into charger and they're ready for the next photo shoot. The next one, of course, now I'm gonna talk about some obvious stuff with constant light is way better to uh, work with your focus on the subject. Um, with, with speed lights, of course, you don't have modeling light. So if you work with some darker locations, sometimes that could be an issue. Not big of a deal, but it could be for a lot of photographers. With constant lighting, your subject is lit constantly. So I've noticed throughout my all photo sessions that the, 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 the focusing on the subject was much, much um, easier and was much precise. And then all those images were just really spot on. And as also you can work with constant lighting, you can work in some darker locations with speed lights. It wasn't big of an issue, but I have to make sure that there is some additional light. I sometimes was a kind of challenging to kind of make this whole thing work, but with this type of lighting, it doesn't matter where you are, you're always good. So that's something also to, to consider depends on uh, where you're shooting in your studio or you're just working in some different locations. This is something also that's gonna be beneficial for you. With those type of lights I've received from Nanlight, everything is controlled through a mobile app. So you can really 
change the power, you can change the white balance uh, right off your uh, fingertips using the app. App works extremely well and you can just adjust stuff and then you can just really easy control this entire lighting setup um, very precisely and then you can you don't have to even move. So that's something also I didn't experience with speed lights because I have to manually change them. I know nowadays a lot of those speed lights they have this Wi-Fi connection where you can control them. I didn't have that uh, but um, that was also again new experience for me that I, I don't have to move around. I can just change the power of the lighting through the app which was kind of really really cool. The next one, because it's a LED light, you can control the white balance uh, with those type of lights, which is also pretty cool because you can really, really precisely uh, pick up white balance for specific subject. Also, what is kind of neat, if you have using one of those lights, which I did lighting up the background, you can change the white balance and you can change the tonality of the background. So you don't have to use any gels. You don't have to use anything to change the tonality. You can just change the white balance and you're good to go. If you want a warmer background, you want a colder, um, you just need to boost up the, the white balance and you're good to go, which also is extremely convenient for me because I can just add this really nice blue tone to my background. And I'm sure you're gonna see that through some of those photos I'm gonna show you. And um, the last thing what I wanna point it out, and I know this is a little bit off the topic, but you can definitely use those lights for video production. So if you not only shooting headshots, you're doing some videos for your clients or whatever, these lights are just designed for this. So you can also take advantage of that. So I wanna point it out because I think this is extremely important and this is something which also can gives you additional benefit of this lighting. Okay, so now, I know I sugarcoat a lot of those things and I talk about this whole thing from very positive side and that's something which, that's what I feel about it. But now let's talk about it, what I don't like about those lights. And this is something which also came from the experience. I've been using those lights for the last month. So the first thing is of course, the weight and their size. Those type of lights, they're not very mobile. You have to have specific bag to carry them, they heavy, they, they fairly big. So it's something that uh, frustrates me a little bit because I do some of my shoots in my location, but I travel also a little bit. So it's something that uh, you have to also consider that if you wanna plan go with this type of lighting, moving them around, carrying them around, it's not gonna be easy because they're big, they're heavy, and you have to somehow create this uh, nice, carry on bag where, where they safe and you can just take them around without destroying them or damaging them, right? The next one which thing which I didn't like is you have to use much stronger stands. The stands which I had for my speed lights, they were lightweight and I've noticed that I have to upgrade my stands because those lights, they're heavy, they're big and um, you need something much more sturdy because you don't want this whole thing to fall down because that would be just simply disaster. So if you planning to, again, go with this, make sure your stands are much more robust and, and they, they can carry way more weight for those type of lighting. The next one is, it's kind of difficult to move them around during the shoot because you know, they're heavy, they're big. So I used to move my speed lights all over the place to just kind of precisely lit my, my subject. With this, it's a little bit more difficult because the stance, because the size. And I'm not say saying it's not doable. What I'm saying is the fact that it's much, much more difficult because those lights are much, much more heavier. So you have to kind of make sure that you remember that it's gonna be a little bit difficult to moving them around. Another thing which in my opinion is a little bit challenging is that in this case, the lighting which I have, you have to have electrical outlets and that is related. You have to have extension cords. Uh, you have to make sure that everything is safe. Nobody trips on those on those cables and, and those connectors to your um, electrical plugins. So that's also a little bit of a challenge sometimes, especially if you have a lot of sessions and God forbid someone trips on this cable and make those lights fall down because I've been in those situations back in the days, many, many, many years ago. So you have to also make sure that everything is safe, is secure, and nobody's gonna get hurt themselves as well, they're not gonna hurt your light. And then of course is the price. They're a little bit more expensive. So if you plan and go that route, 
uh, you have to kind of put a little bit more money into it. If it's worth it, you have to answer this question yourself. I deeply believe that if you are planning to, as I said, focus on different elements of upgrading your lighting system, and I think that this is worth it, but again, they're not as cheap as speed lights and then everything what is related to this type of lighting setup. Okay, so in summary, I, what I wanna say, overall experience, I learned a lot of new things. The client experience was one of the biggest things which I didn't expect I'm gonna learn, but it's something to consider, especially if you working with a lot of clients and you wanna make sure that the clients feel better after photo shoot. This is something should be considered because that's definitely is gonna upgrade and upscale the quality, not only your, your images, but also the overall experience of your clients coming to you and, and working with you. And the lastly, I wanna say that it doesn't matter which type of lighting you take, make sure you feel comfortable with it. This is something which it's gonna reflect your work. Just make sure you're working with the type of lighting which makes you happy. So I'm not saying you should go with this. I just wanna share my opinion after working. Do I'm gonna stick with them? For now, yes, I'm gonna still work. It depends on the locations. I'm gonna still sometimes work with my speed lights, but I have to say that um, the constant light really start showcasing me different aspects of working with my clients. And this is something which they said is worth it to this little upgrade and it's gonna make your work easier and it's gonna just provide you way better results. Okay, if you have any questions, any concerns, anything you would like to add to this, please feel free to contact me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and I'll chat with you guys very soon. Bye-bye.